Uh, this is my first video for YouTube, but I thought I um, we do a comparison between the three flagship models. Um, despite Toronto being a very small city and a very small unicycle community, we were fortunate enough to have um, the Z10, the KS18L, and then the new Gotway MSX. Um, so this is not by any means a professional review, but more of just our opinions on the ride um, and what we feel about the wheel. So I'm going to pass it to the guy who owns the Z10 and he can tell you about his uh, past experiences and his uh, previous wheel. This is Will by the way. Uh, hi, so uh, I've only had this wheel for less than a week, so take my words for a grain of salt. But uh, my last wheel was an A oh, A1. Is it? My, my tripod died. Um, it's a uh, it's a stabilizer, that's why it died. It's battery operated. Um, but yeah, like Will was saying, he had a 14-inch wheel. He was S, S1? Uh, A1, yeah. A1. The A1, um, which is a 14-inch wheel. And as most of you guys probably know, starting off on a 14-inch wheel is perfect. However, most people who start off on a 14-inch usually jumps to either a 16. But Will here went for the full, like, 9-bot Z10, which is... Um, crazy to some people, but um, he, I guess he didn't want to spend any money on the in-between. Um, um, my, my thoughts on the wheels, I, I don't want to really talk about, um, I don't know about Will, but I don't really want to talk about the things that people already talk about, which I think is the features. I think we all know a lot about the features. Um, I just want to give you guys like my personal opinion on the wheels, right? Um, Z10, definitely a learning curve. Um, Especially when you have to turn, it's definitely like a full body motion. Um, is he in the camera? Jeff, you're in the you're in the shot. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, yeah. So the Z10, it's a full body motion. You really have to learn into it. We tried lowering and playing around with the PSI, um, but Will keeps saying this about his Z10. It literally just rides over everything. It's like a everything. Yeah, he, it rides over pretty much everything. Um, and honestly, nothing beats how this wheel looks. It looks amazing online and it looks amazing in person. The KS18, going from like the KS16 um, that we have around. Um, I used to ride my own KS16 um, and riding my friend's KS18 is just, you can tell that the, uh, I think that's the UL certification definitely made their quality a whole lot better. Um, and, you know, this is like everyone knows about this already the handle it doesn't close down so hopefully they'll fix that for the next batches really annoying um i mean both of these two wheels you have that liftoff sensor whereas the gotway you don't um and for the for the for the king song it's just it's so high up with such high uh, ground clearance as well that um the padding is also like closer up to to your knees um but it's very thin at the same time and that's kind of reminiscent of a KS16 is just that it's not a wide machine my gotway is a wider machine and I can definitely feel it when it's under me um, and I've had to do the modifications to make it my wheel whether it's lowering the pedal angle so that um, it's not as aggressive for my flat footed and then having a nice cushioning um, removing that terrible terrible gotway padding um, but yeah, it's uh, all three of these wheels. Honestly, after riding it, riding all three, I want to still say that I won't gonna stick with my MSX. I still, I still like my wheel the best, and that could be because I ride that obviously the most because it's not my wheel. But um, for aesthetics, Z10 is because of that reason. It is like maybe like an end of year goal for me um, to maybe buy. Um, I'm gonna pass the wheel. See, we'll see what he has to say. Uh, so when riding this wheel, when cornering uh, at high speeds, you really have to lean in. For me, I bend my knees and I really have to push it. It's like pushing a, a 10 kilo rod. Yeah. Whereas uh, for, for all the other wheels, uh, it's, you just tilt and then it leans along, along with your body. So uh, it's heavy, it's stable. It has a much lower center of gravity than all these other wheels. And, and for the, because of that reason, I'm able to roll over lots and lots of potholes in Toronto. No problem. Um, obviously, stay safe, wear your gear. Yeah. And just even like, 
going over bumps, I feel like with the 9 bus, since it's a wider tire, I can go over bumps. And same with the KS18, big tire. You don't even jump anymore. You just ride over them. But after that jump, the wheel stabilizes a lot easier on a 9 bot Z10 than compared to an 18L or an MSX. Um, but, I mean, both of these wheels... Um, what was I going to say? I mean, the MSX, you can go faster and further. The KS18 currently has some production problems. The Z10 will decrease its speed at around 50%. So it's like, there's honestly so many ways to look at all three of these wheels. I mean, I think the biggest thing for people who own the MSX is that there's things to do to make it yours, right? Whether it's like the pedal angle and then buying that mud guard because it is super necessary. And I think that's also an important thing, right? We're recording this right now and I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's super rainy. If I ride this at around 20 kilometers an hour, the rain can go right above my head. Um, and the person right behind me, well, no one wants to ride behind me. But the KS18 and the 9Bot, with the mud guard, obviously. With the mud guard. Yeah, it doesn't, the rain will not shoot up. Um, and it, you won't, it won't get your bag dirty. So I think that's, that's something to consider, especially if you're riding in a in an environment where there's definitely going to be more rain. Um, we're in Toronto, so there's more snow as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What else, what else do we want to say about these wheels? All good, they all... They yeah, I, I, think, I think the really cool thing that no one, I think, has mentioned about the Z10 is the sound it makes. The sounds, it doesn't, it doesn't make that high-pitched beep that everyone is kind of familiar with. It makes like a low tone, mm -hmm. I can but still, it, I yeah. Can. Yeah, let's see if you can... I don't know if you can hear that. Here, let's, let's try that again. Okay. I think the sound is here, yeah. There. Um, there. Yeah, I mean, it has, it has all the... Yeah, it has a futuristic sound to it. Um, and I think that's what 9Bot does really well, right? Is the entire experience, right? The Gotway is, it's like, you're buying a really fast machine, but at the end of the day, it's like, you don't get all these cool features, right? Um, I think you showed me something about the uh, on the app, something cool on the app the other day. What was it? I don't know. But I mean, the the Godway app we all know is terrible. Um, the sound this machine makes it's it makes it fun. It makes it it makes you feel like you're from the future. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, what um, I've heard people complain about currently is is the lights is that it's angled up too much and not only is it not it's it's hurting people who are coming at you because yeah. it's too bright and, and it's not useful to the rider as well because it yeah. doesn't illuminate the, the ground it doesn't you can't like especially if you're when you're riding at night you want to be able to see how the terrain is going but yeah i think all three of these wheels i think regardless of which one you go with you can't you're wrong. you can't go wrong i mean if you want an overall experience you want a good experience Go with the Z10 when you don't care about performance all that much. If you want a good, like, better commuter wheel, I would say the King Song because it has lights on the side as well and at the front, which I think is super helpful for riding in the city, mm -hmm. um, just to be seen, especially for cars turning right. Um, and then the Gotway, it's all it's all performance. Raw power. Yeah, it's raw power. Um, yeah, but I missed a few things in the podcast that I also wanted to discuss. Um, one of the things is I think it's important to also realize that this is 9Bot's um, first wheel since coming back after the whole P thing. So they've been, I think, out of production of wheels for basically two years. Um, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but basically the longest we've seen from any brand. Um, and it's they have essentially... Um, this one opportunity to bring everyone from the community back and get them back onto that 9Bot. Um, I mean, back two, three years ago, everyone had an E+. Plus. A lot of people had an E+. Plus. A lot of people started off with an E+. Plus. So the, this Z10 product really needed to be amazing, and I think it is. Um, however, the pedals are still really low. Like, you can expect pedal grind even at turns but with the fat tire and how it kind of really pushes itself to be recentered there's less of that happening in my opinion but still very low to the ground change the light colors 
Yeah, I think one people, I mean, what um, I've heard people complain about currently is, is the lights, is that it's angled up too much. And not only is it not, it's, it's hurting people who are coming at you because yeah. it's too bright. And, and it's not useful to the rider as well because it yeah. doesn't illuminate the, the ground. It doesn't, you can't, like, especially if you're, when you're riding at night, you want to be able to see how the terrain is going. But yeah, I think all three of these wheels, I think regardless of which one you go with, can't you're, you can't go wrong. I mean, if you want an overall experience, you want a good experience, go with the Z10 when you don't care about performance all that much. If you want a good, like, better commuter wheel, I would say the Kingsong because it has lights on the side as well and at the front, which I think is super helpful for riding in the city, mm -hmm. um, just to be seen, especially for cars turning right. Um, and then the Gotway, it's all, it's all performance. Raw power. Yeah, it's raw power. Um, yeah, but... Uh, let us know your thoughts on uh, on the wheels, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll talk about wheels sooner. Um, but yeah, we have a massive group right now. We have about like I don't know, ten people, mm -hmm. ten people out riding with us. This is like our first big event, and um, we even have like a one wheel here as well. But um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thank you, Ali. Yeah.